Hey guys, so this video follows up on the free video that is up on the channel called Intro to the Box Model. First of all, thank you for purchasing uh, either the Design Academy or this video. In this one, we're going to take a look at the basics of a card layout. Obviously, we are not going to cover every single thing because there are so many complexities. But hopefully, if you have watched the previous video, uh, you will have an understanding, even if just vaguely of the box model and now here finally we're going to get hands-on and actually start putting it into practice so we're going to start from the ground up and uh, yeah we're going to construct a card layout stay tuned for the following videos to come because this might just very well turn out to be a little mini series so yeah i hope you guys enjoy let's start from the beginning and i will show you guys using boxes, how we can represent um, certain layouts, okay? So we're gonna add a screen GUI and um, add a frame. Let's go for our canvas. If you watched my previous video, uh, oops, you can see how I explain the purpose of having a canvas frame. So let me go ahead and set this up real quick. Let's go for anchor, fit, background off, and scale. Okay, perfect. Let's go for a very basic frame, okay? Let's go anchor. Very, very simple frame. Right. Let's go for red, 0.9. Let's go for a basic card layout. Now, what elements are we gonna have? Let's say we're gonna have an image at the very top, right? We're gonna have two rows of text and a button uh, at the very bottom, okay? That is how we're going to uh, make this. Now, we're going to have to start by visualizing or trying to build your Roblox game, but you have no UI assets. What if you could actually drag and drop a full UI kit, drag it in, and you can see we have all of these UI frames right over here. Best part is we actually have full icon packs. Let's go ahead and change these icons. It's really that simple. Full UI kits, icon packs, educational resources like tutorials, and much more. Save time, build faster, design better, and start building your game project. Check out design assets at gfxcommon.com and also get the unlimited access bundle to get lifetime access to all assets. The groups of boxes that we're gonna have. So firstly, for example, we're gonna have a frame, okay? This will be the image container, okay? We're gonna go for anchor, size x10, like that. Okay, so the width is just going to be fill uh, towards the parent container, like so. Now the height, we can modify this. However, uh, we can also go for scale. So if we want to be precise, it could take a 0.4 of the you know parent frame. Let's go zoom in actually. We go for like. 6 for example okay let's go for red point nine okay if this is the image container let's move this up here for now before we add anything else if this is to be fixed at the top we should actually change the y anchor point to zero like that you can see how that you can see how obviously that makes sense um Okay, next, let's see what else we have. Below this, we're gonna have a frame. This will be our text. So let's go for size X10, once again. And let's do it right here. Y, I think like a 100, right? We'll go for like 80, I guess. 80 is fine. Now you have to keep in mind, we don't have any actual content inside just yet. All this stuff are the parents' containers. The boxes, the boxes that basically wrap our content. Let's go for a different color this time. Let me go for blue. Actually, let me change the image frame color. As you can see. Now I think I'm going to make this a bit taller, like that. And lastly, we're going to have a let's say a button container. Oops, I can't spell. Container all the way down here. Let's go size, x1, zero, bring this down, and go for anchor point, y1, 
the chest and right there. Let's go for orange. Point eight. So we can see just a bit better. All right, pretty good. Now we have all these boxes. Now inside of these, we can now add a UI the layout. Okay, obviously vertical. And right now, since all these boxes are basically adjacent or touching, bordering each other, uh, we don't really have to adjust the flex. Now, let's go ahead and add a quick image frame. So if we go for frame like this, I'm actually gonna go fit. Let's go do a little gray color. Let's go add a corner. Okay, so for 0.2, no, 0 0.05, 0 0.075, okay. Now inside of image container, let's go for a list layout. Okay, here is my here is my frame. Let's make sure uh, we go lock the aspect ratio like that, and then I'm gonna go for padding. Okay, oops, inside of the container, let's go for padding bottom, point zero five, padding top, point zero five. Let's go for this layout. Let's go for center. Now you can see we have our image frame here positioned with a UI the layout. As opposed to if we just resize this and move it here, this is not using any layout uh, objects. This right here gives us far more control. Now let me go ahead and quickly add some text. So let's go for, for example, the sale. Okay. Let's figure out how we're going to add our text. All right. Now let's take a look. Let's go for text label. Okay. Now I want our text to go X one zero. Okay. Let's go for text scale right here. Text aligned by the left. Let me change the transparency eight. Okay. Red. Like so now with our text now with our text i'm going to make sure it is scaled now we can actually add some padding on the left side let's go 0 0.05 as you can see let me adjust the font there we go uh it's kind of much more bolder than i expected anyways let's go for white now, if I was to resize, now I could either resize the height of my text or I could actually go for some top padding and also some bottom padding like this, as you can see. Now I can copy my text and here I'm gonna go for my subtext. So this right here is a description. Okay, let's go ahead, change the color. Here I will actually resize the height of this frame. Now for both of my text, I'm actually going to go for anchor point, point 0.5, so, so they are all uh, in the center. But now you can see our list layout is actually arranging our text from the top down. This is fine, but our button is going to be right here. Now if you want your button fixed down here, that is actually not an issue. Um, let's go add a very quick button. Just for an example, I'm actually going to copy the stuff here, as you can see. I may take off the, take out that. This is our button. Let's go for the color green. It's kind of too, too bright. Let me increase the corner value like that. So this right here is our button. Okay. Now for our text, we can change the vertical align to the center and you can see how this sorts our text differently if we go back to the top uh, you can see our parent text container is right here which is being arranged by the the snail inside of the uh, parent frame so we can actually resize this and see how everything responds uh, we can go for this layout vertical flex right here space between now you can see how our layout has changed. So if we go for, let's say, vertical line, center. Let's go ahead, resize. And if we resize our stuff, this occurs. 
Give me a second. Okay, so right here on the text, I have 0 0.05. Padding button right here. Let's go for padding left 0 0.05. And you can see how this lines up with our, um, our text perfectly. And if I want, I can actually technically add a padding uh, on top, on top of everything else. I can go for 0.1 and, and you can see how powerful this is. Uh, we can go for 0 0.05 and also, and also on the right side. You can see everything is responding accordingly. Now, as confusing as I may have explained everything, I hope you guys got a rough idea of what I am uh, trying to elucidate here. Um, I know this was probably confusing if you are not familiar with uh, UI layouts, but there is a lot more we can go into detail on. For example, we have all of these flex options, as you can see, using space between, fill, space around, all this kind of stuff, right? And all of this matters because it affects and defines the responsiveness of our design. Now for a final touch, let's go activate our canvas so I can see. Uh, what now? And let's go add a list layout like so. I'm gonna drop our frame inside. Center like that. And now you can see if we copy our frame, right? Let's say we go horizontal. We can add some padding like that. Or if we go for a horizontal flex, space around, you can see what happens. The space between, like that. Uh, both ends right here for vertical bottom. Vertical flex fill, you can see what happens. Uh, vertical flex, space around. Anyways, there is much more to consider, especially when we account for the size constraints and um, as we as our UI scales up, how we want stuff arranged, organized, and how we want each element to basically uh, respond or react to changes. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am not going to keep you guys here much longer. Uh, I hope you got some value from this video. Um, the next video I think I will create following this. So if this is the kind of stuff you are interested in, the Design Academy is perfect for you. Go ahead, check it out at gfxcomment.com. And with everything we have discussed here, this is going to be very fun in the future as we construct large scale UIs. So if you think of uh, AAA game UIs, we have all the popular games, Marvel Rivals, uh, we have Valorant, as a COD, right? All these games, we can possibly try to recreate some of those UIs using the box layout. Enough rambling. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Check out Unlimited Access. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys next time.